Welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, today's starting pitcher, Jose Quintana. What do we have on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Ready to go now. Here's O'Neill Cruz. The why to kick the pitch. The That's shortstop the takes a ball. Counts one and oh. And now the lefty. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knob. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Brian Reynolds here. And a curve misses outside. Rudder at first with no outs here. Liner caught it second. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, O'Neill Cruz. Yeah, he's been swinging it really well over the last few weeks, man. And OPS over 900 last month. He's put the team on his back, just carrying these guys. Definitely the guy you want up there right now, especially when you need a big swing of the bat. Now a chance for Key Brian Hayes. That one fouled off. Man at first, one away. Step off throw to first. Cruz back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And one and two. Swing and a pop-up. Wendell has it sized up. And there's two down. That is good. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jack Sawinski. This hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And a good eye there. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Don't and that's outside. That Edward Olivares to bat next. Oh, 
Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in on a dive. We'll see another payoff pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. In the air, left side. McNeil drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Pirates leave one. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Singy, and on the hill today, Marco Gonzalez. Four-pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons we through this Four start minutes. here, and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early, or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Popped up right side under it. Makes the grab one away. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. This is a veteran led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. Pitches downstairs. Ground ball left side and foul ball. The one two. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. One out, base is empty. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The switch hitter batting right. That misses the zone. One and oh. Rip to short. Cruz out of first. Lindor retire. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for the Mets. Scoreless after one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Edward Olivares. As the lefty gets to work. Just outside, off the outside the ball. edge. Ball one.
The wind and the pitch. Rips one to right. Stewart makes the catch. One down. Here's Rowdy Telez. Rowdy Telez. Close nope. one doesn't get the call, and it's 1-0. Oh. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire's strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. And That's another open. ball. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Three ball, no strike. No score here in the second. Way inside, and that hit him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. Now it's the right fielder, Connor Joe. That oh, one wow. misses. That's five straight. Kicks and fires. In the dirt. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. He's into second easily on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Man at second. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Still two and two after the foul ball. Go ahead run at second. Here at the top of the second. Two two, and that one off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Henry Davis waits on deck for Pittsburgh. And there's ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. First and second, one out. Now, Henry Davis. Strike one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And that's downstairs and outside. Way to lay off that pitch down. That misses, and it's two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. And here it comes. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Runners at first and second with one gone.
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Here comes a pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two on, one out. That one inside. And now it's three and two. That's a really good take. Alika Williams in the on-deck circle. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Grinding A.B. right here. About to see pitch number ten. And that'll nope, load the ball. bases. Yeah, that's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Alika Williams, the next pirate to hit. And that drops in for a strike. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. And the count is one and one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. And now two and two. And a pitch. That one way inside. Fights it off, you'll see another. the ground two ball Wendell Lindor that's one over the first safe I promise you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI that was a possible inning ending double play great hustle and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it so up next O'Neal Cruz He's one for one, let off the game with a single. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. The shortstop takes the ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Freedom. Brian Reynolds next to bat for the box. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Nope. And they're all loaded up. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Next is the Pirates DH. Brian Reynolds. 0 for 1 so far.
Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Base is loaded, two down. Right through there for a strike. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. half of inning number two. Here's a big power threat. Pete Alonso. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Gonzalez back to work. And he takes a strike. And he swings over the top there. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And that's down and away. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw over to Telez. And quickly one away in the second. The third baseman. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. In there, and it's 0-1. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s. A lot better than trying to hit the high oh, 90s. Inside. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. One down, base is empty. There's a strike at the knees. And a count one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. DJ Stewart stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next offering is in for a strike. The Mets trailing by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And that's outside. And the count's even at two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Down in order, go the Mets. They trail here, one nothing. And we're back. Now it's going to be Key Brian Hayes. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. And that's in for a strike. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? 
Oh, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. That one just misses. It's a good take. One misses, and the count's full. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. 3-2. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. And now the center fielder, Jack Sawinski, fly to left his first time. That one not close. And that is ball one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That's in there. And a count one and one. Slice the other way and foul. The pitch. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So two down now, and here is Edward Olivares. There's the strike. Two out, space is empty. Good eye in that spot. The one, two. That one missed. Hit hard. That gets through. And that extends the inning. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Digging in, Rowdy Telez to the right side. Oh, nice play. Nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Back here at City Field, Jeff McNeil stands in. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Slap the other way, foul. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself one one. can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. Looking to get the tie run on base. So now one and two. One ball. 
two strikes. Upstairs. The 2 2. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Cruz makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Omar Narvaez at the plate. And it takes low for ball one. Count Holding on to a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. The next pitch misses 2 and 0. Oh. Inside corner at the knees, that's a strike. Good fastball. Pitch misses, and that's ball 3. Joey Wendell in the on deck circle. The 3 1. Line drive, base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Here's Joey Wendell. Line drive. That's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Couple of singles back to back. Nice line drive to the pull side, headed out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Line out his first time. Just missed. Runners on the move. And fouled off. So the tying run at second. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Cruz. There's one. On to Telez. And the double play ends the inning. So that does it, but not before they find a way to spoil the perfect game. It's the Pirates one and the Mets nothing. here in Queens as we go to the top of the fourth at the plate for Pittsburgh Connor Joe Joe and a pitch there's a strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 he's pitching well but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes usually doesn't work out for success but you can never predict baseball And he deals. Out to short. Lindor. Gathers and throws to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Henry Davis. He reached out a walk his first time. Right through there for a strike. Kicks and deals. 
Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. The pitch. Good oh, eye right there. Base is empty one away top half of inning number four. And another ball. Two balls two strikes. Adam swing you had him out front for strike three. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the second baseman, Alika Williams. There's a strike. He swings and fouls one off. Field two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Two down, nobody on. Three. Got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. And one, two, three go the Pirates. But they hold a one nothing lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom four, Starling Marte up to hit. Gonzalez back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. Line to right, base hit. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumping, didn't try to pull the ball, he let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Here's Francisco Lindor. Grounded out his first time up. And that one fouled off. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Snap throw to first. Oh, he's and he's back in safely. With the tying run on at first, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. That clips the zone. And a count is 0 and 2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One ball. In the dirt, but kept close. Tag safe at second. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up in the scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. And a foul ball, he stays alive. So the tying run at second stays alive. The shortstop takes the ball. Yep. Runner at second, nobody out. Swing and a miss, struck him out. 
He swung over top of the curveball. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's Pete Alonso. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at second here, one gone. And foul to the left side. And now the lefty. And the one two misses to even the count. And another ball. Brett Beatty waits on deck. One out and a runner at second. See another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Batter now, Brett Beatty. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Man on second, two down. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throw is offline and he's in to score. We're tied at one. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So digging in, DJ Stewart. He's 0 for 1. That one in there across the letters. Two outs. Fall off foul. All one there. One ball, two strikes, Cal. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Two on the way. Got him! And the inning is over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even now at 1 1. Back after this on the show.
And we're back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, O'Neill Cruz. The wind of the pitch. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Drew Smith appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Braley, a left-hander, also throwing. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. The shortstop takes a ball. One ball, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. McNeil drifts towards it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One up, one down. And here is Brian Reynolds. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. All, one All down. tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. That that's one misses, and one and one. Ripped into center, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. One down, runner at first. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Key Ryan Hayes. And fouled off. Here comes a pinch. Inside one. And that one in the air center field. Nimmo has it sized up. Drops into the glove. Jack Sawinski digs in now. No surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. First pitch, and he just misses. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Hit on the ground to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one left for Pittsburgh. Score remains deadlocked at one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, Jeff McNeil. The line of the pitch. Popped up. Hauls it in. One away. Well, he gave the butt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, can be a pop-up or can be bunted right back at a position player. Next to hit, Omar Narvaez. First Omar. offering, and it just misses. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. One down, base is empty. Inside just missed.
just off the inside edge. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Joey Wendell waiting for a turn at the plate. Here's a 3-0. He walked in, and that will keep things going. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. One down. Joey Wendell up now for the Mets. And he's already singled in this game. Just missed. Count one and oh. The pitch. Late swing, foul to the left. And that one fouled off. pitch and another ball one down winning run at first last half of inning number five and he grounds one to the right side off balance feed there's one tough play right there didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong accurate throw had to rush it but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. That's in there. Strike one. Two outs. Late that time, and it's strike two. To first, and he breaks for second. The tag, and got him at second. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. We played five full, tied at one aside. A change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Drew Smith. Runner in scoring position, no outs. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Edward Olivares. One for two. And a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. This guy's oh, usually not one to chase pitches off the plate, but he did there. We'll see if he can tighten up his zone a little bit. You'll want. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Man at second. That one 95 to finish him off. Up next for the Pirates, Rowdy Telez. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. There's a strike. Action in the Mets bullpen. Jake Diekman, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. One out. The go-ahead run is at second, and we're the top half of the sixth. Swings and misses. And it's not again two. And 
And ball one. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Next pitch downstairs. Two and two. Righty to the plate. Ouch, that one drilled him. Roll picked out of the dirt, body save. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Runners at the corners here, one away. And now the right fielder, Connor hey. Joe. There's the strike. Runners at the corners, one away. And here in extra innings. Misses outside. Now one and two. Double play ball to second. Lindor. That's one. And that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam and they end the inning. City Field. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. As the lefty gets to work, chopper to second, Williams. In plenty of time to first, leadoff man retired in the sixth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. And now, Tyrone Taylor taking his first trip to the plate here in the sixth. He entered the game as a pinch runner. That's hard hit on the line. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Mets walk it off for the win. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.